In lieu of the upcoming Lunar New Year in which we are celebrating the Year of the Ox, we are going to share with you some facts about the horns of the ox. Or is it endless? What's the difference? Ah! It's Sama Sama Roti Prata! Boss, Stylo, can we start already? Can we start already? Okay, I think we can start. Let's start. Okay, how do I tell the difference between the antlers and the horns just by looking at it? First, you can look at the animal itself. Antlers are found on members of the deer family and that includes your deers, your elks, your moose and the reindeers. They are typically found on males except for the reindeers in which the females have it as well but smaller. Antlers are branch structures so they kind of look like dead trees with branches sticking out and they have this very cool outer velvety layer which is called, well, velvet. Horns are found on members of the bovid family. Okay, bovid ah, not covid, bovid. So the bovid family consists of the sheep, the goats, the cattle and the ox. And actually ox are just generally castrated male cattle. We are celebrating the year of the castrated male cattle. Horns are generally unbranched structures, except for the pronghorn, and they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. So they can be like super slim, like the gems buck here, and also super curvy, like the prong horn sheep here. Horns don't have a cool outer covering though, like the antlers. So they're just boring hard outer surface. Eh, at least they have cool shapes. Now that we know the visible difference between the antlers and the horns, what are they made up of? So an antler grows from a specific region of the skull known as the pedicle and they initially start out as cartilage. So as they grow, they will be slowly filled with bony tissue and when they are fully grown, they are fully bony bone bone. And then, the super cool and atas looking velvet layer actually supplies blood and nutrients to these antlers as they grow. Horns, on the other hand, consist of two parts. They have this inner bony core that is fused to the skull with this specialised connective tissue and then there's this outer layer of keratin. So keratin is the stuff that makes up our hair and our nails and they grow from specialised hair follicles found in the skin. Humans grow hair from our hair follicles and then for these animals, they grow keratin from the hair follicles. How am I doing? Boss? Boss, don't sleep! Boss! Boss, don't sleep! <laughs> Why are you sleeping, boss? So most animals with antlers actually shed them off every single year. Once the antlers are fully grown, the blood supply to the velvet layer will be cut off and that is where you can see some of the deers trying to rub off the velvet layer of the antlers on hard surfaces. After the breeding season of the animal, the antlers will fall off, quite literally, and then they will start regrowing a new one for the next cycle. If you are lucky, you can actually find a pair of old antlers lying on the forest floor. <laughs> Not in Singapore though. Yeah, not in Singapore. Oh, we have sambal deer, but very rare. With the exception of prong horns, horns never shed and they will continue to grow on an animal's head for the rest of their life. So this is because the inner bony core of the horn is actually live and consists of blood and nerves. So even though they continue to grow throughout an animal's life, if they are broken, it will actually bleed and it may cause serious damage to the animals. Antlers are mainly used by the males during breeding season for mate selection, either by fighting off rival males or by showing off to the females directly. So yes, humans flex their muscles, while deers flex their antlers. Horns are generally used for the same reasons as the antlers, uh, although females actually use it mainly for defensive purposes, especially when they have calves to protect. So some animals actually use their horns for cooling as well due to the amount of blood flowing through the blood vessels in the bony core. Some of you may be wondering why we did not mention rhino horns. Rhino horns, they are not exactly considered true horns, but we can save that discussion for a future episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of SSRP, and now that you know the difference between antlers and horns, I wish you guys a very happy Lunar New Year of the castrated male cattle with horns. Just keep thinking. So what's your favourite part about Lunar New Year? Huh? Collect money la! <laughs> Isn't that what's everyone favourite pie? Collect money! I mean at a certain age, you don't get to co collect money anymore. Yeah, I guess. So I don't think it's everybody's favourite part. Uh, I think for females, it's about wearing new clothes. Like you can, you can definitely see on Instagram, everyone started posting about it. Yeah, I mean, it's a very good reason to start buying new clothes and showing it off. But personally for me, I think it's the food. Huh? I love it because every household they will just cook this big feast that no one can finish and there's so much food and it's so awesome and you can go to any house and they will just let you eat everything and you may not even know the person but they will just let you eat anyway. So yes, that's the best part for me. So, which dish is, which, which dish is your favourite? That's a very difficult question. I eat everything. I'm a black hole. <laughs> which one is your favourite then? Uh... Okay, which, which 
ASEAN why snack is your favorite? What snacks do we have? Oh, 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 the arrow chip roots. The arrow, arrow, arrow root chips. Arrow root chips. Yes, 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 yes. Or the lotus one. Or the crab meat one. Yeah, these three. So you know like the lotus root, they'll deep fry it and then the crab meat skin, they'll take out and they'll deep fry it. And they're exorbitantly expensive for God knows what reason. But you can go to other people's house and eat it. And they will let you eat it because they cannot finish for some reason. <laughs> so yes, I will just go out to other people's house and eat it. I mean, you can't say no also. La. Yeah. Xiao Mei, eat. Okay. I don't really like pineapple tarts though. I don't want people to like it that much. But yeah, it's, it's not. I'm not, not a big fan of it. But they make pineapple tarts because of the whole wang thing. Though. Yeah, it's quite a tedious process. I know all my friends, most of my friends actually made it themselves. But I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I'm okay. Uh, I think this CNY, LNY, CNY this year. It's going to be a bit different because, you know, we are still in the middle of a pandemic and the government has imposed some restrictions. Basically, what are the restrictions? After 8 visits a day, 8 different people per day. Yeah, so don't anyhow play play. Ah. They might catch you. Ah. Like, really, just just don't try your luck. Ah. Mm. 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 But that's not going to be easy to impose, right? We are treading on dangerous water here. Let's not discuss this anymore. <laughs> okay. Do you visit your friend's house of the last time? Uh, <laughs> if they invite me. Uh, actually, most of us don't. Eh, I realise. Oh, really? Eh? Yeah. My closest friends, they are... One is in Jurong. In Singapore, all the way in Jurong. Like, what? And then some... I, I'm not sure. Lah, like they, they really have their own... Kakis to hang out with. Oh my god, this makes me sound like I have no friends. Actually, I do have friends, but they just don't really celebrate it as crazily. They would invite me, lah, but not because of Chinese New Year's, because we have nothing to do. <laughs> oh, by the way, the light died behind. But it's okay, this is afterthoughts, so it really doesn't oh, matter. Oh no, <laughs> okay. So, can you share with the audience a few of your Chinese New Year greetings? Okay. <laughs> It's like, oh, it depends lah. Like, you know, every year there's a different zodiac, right? Mm. So, um, usually I will just take whichever zodiac. So, it's like, if it's a fish year, do we have a fish year? No, there's right? no fish year. Oh my god, yeah, I just need it. Okay, yeah, there's no fish year. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, like, okay, the dog year. So, it's like, I mean, can't you just use um, the, 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 the ox year since we are going to. This is the year of the ox year. I I don't know. Ox got what? No one no one said anything on the line. I guess ox is difficult. But I know the dog one. Dog one is like wang wang. Wang wang yo nian. Wang wang yo yu. Wang wang. There's, there's no such thing. And then the red is shu. Yeah, I just use Gong Si Fa Cai, Shen Ti Jian Kang, Wan Shi Ru Yi. Yes. If any of you got any to share with us, to teach MJ how to My do Chinese it. My Chinese is very good. Like, don't get it wrong. Please it's just let that us I've know. been out of touch for really, really long. <laughs> for a really long time. By the way. Okay. By the way, this year we can use Happy New Year. <gasps> Happy New Year! Oh my god, that's genius! Why did I do that? Happy New Year! Oh my god. That's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Courtney! Where are you going? She she's done. She's she's done. I guess she needs to go out and <laughs> She's gonna see the scenery and ponder about life. <laughs>